Welcome back, everybody. Thanksgiving is now done, but if you need a delicious, easy recipe for tonight for dinner, the Utah Beef Council has you covered. It's in today's sponsored segment. Yeah, hi, Jennifer Burns. Thanks so much. I'm in for Utah Beef Council making another delicious recipe. This might be a good weeknight meal. Quite simple, quite easy to do, uh, but there's so many different usages for this when we're doing saucy beef wraps. These are so good. You can find this recipe at utahbeef.org. I'm going to show you how to do every step along the way, but I'm going to go ahead and pour my sauce into my pan and then I'm going to talk you through all of the steps here. I want to get that in there and get that heating all the way through. We of course started off with the star to show some delicious very lean ground beef in there. Um, I just brown that up with some onions, some bell pepper. I used a green bell pepper. Use any color that you like. And then got in some garlic, some salt, and some pepper. Like I said, brown that uh, beef all the way through. Soften up the onion and the garlic and the bell pepper. Okay, I'm going to bring that up to a boil here and then just let it reduce to a simmer. I'm also going to add in more protein here, and we'll talk about that sauce in just a second. More protein is some black beans that I rinsed. This is such a great little colander. You can just put your little pan in, <laughs> take the, um, end, the end off here, and be able to just rinse those beans, which gets rid of additional sodium. Um, onto beans. So that's kind of a nice thing to do is just to go ahead and rinse your beans before putting them into your dishes, unless it calls for more of a starch in there. I'm going to also get in last minute some carrots and some spinach in here. Like I said, this recipe is from utahbeef.org and I like the combination here of flavors. Um, what that sauce was, let's talk about that because that's going to bring all of that good flavor into all of those other ingredients we just chatted about, which is a combination of some white vinegar, some brown sugar, you have some tomato paste in there, you've got some chili powder, salt and pepper, of course, and um, that's actually just a combination with three, quarter cu three quarters cup of water is what I did. And now, like I said, bring it up to a boil, reduce it to a simmer, and then we'll add in those last little bit of crunch and nutrients at the end with the spinach and the carrots. I'm using a flour tortilla. You can use whole wheat, you can use uh, you know, a, a white wheat, but I'm gonna actually bring my plate right over here. I should say just a, a, a regular flour tortilla there, just white, tor white flour. I'm gonna just mix that up. Let's go ahead and get those carrots in. Let's get that spinach in. And again, so many different usages for this because you don't just have to make wraps out of it. You could actually do anything. You could do tacos with this mixture. You could have it just alone if you're cutting back on carbs. So many different ways that you could serve this. But so make a little bit of extra and then you can use it on different dishes to have it for the next night or two after you make it. Okay, now I've got that mixed through there. Take a little bit here. I'm just gonna show you just like you would a burrito. Just get some of that mixture onto that tortilla. Looks so good, it smells so good. All of those spices, you saw I filled that up really, really full for a reason. I'm starving. You can add cheese into this one if you like as well. I'm just gonna roll it like a burrito there. Perfect. Onto the plate. Utahbeef.org is where you want to go for lots more recipes and great information. Mm -hmm.